When you focus on the breath, you need to bring three qualities. The first is mindfulness, as you're going to remind yourself to stay here. And there's alertness, which is watching what's actually going on, watching the breath, making sure it's comfortable, watching the mind to make sure it's staying with the breath, and noticing when you wander off, bring it right back. That brings in the third quality, which is ardency. You really put in the effort to do it right, to do it as skillfully as you can. It's only when you've got these three qualities brought together that the meditation actually develops. Because otherwise you may have some alertness and some mindfulness, but if you're not really trying to do it skillfully, just watch things coming and going and that's it. Or if there's a lot of effort but you're not really alert to what's happening, your effort's going to be misdirected. Like that image in the canon of the person trying to get milk out of the cow by twisting its horn. You keep twisting, 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 you're not really observing, well, where does the milk actually come out? What's going to bring the milk out? So you need to have all three qualities. As for mindfulness, its function is to keep reminding you where you want to stay and also what you want to do. It's not just a matter of just accepting, accepting, accepting whatever comes up. Everything that comes up has a duty. If you're looking at it in terms of the Four Noble Truths, Sometimes there's some stress that has to be comprehended. Sometimes there's some craving or ignorance that has to be abandoned. And then there are the qualities of the path that you want to develop. So you have to keep in mind that there are various duties that go with different kinds of feelings, different kinds of mind states, and that you remember what those duties are, and then you actually make the effort to do them. This is where right mindfulness, as the Buddha said, hovers around every other factor of the path so that you remember that you want to abandon the unskillful things and to develop the skillful things in their place. So these three qualities sort of circling around the breath, or it gives strength to the mind, give progress to the meditation, so that when you notice something, then you remember it, then you can apply it the next time. Keep on trying to do everything as skillfully as you can, and you find that you open up lots of possibilities inside that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. So this is your checklist as you meditate. Okay, are you mindful? Are you alert? Are you really ardent in what you're doing? Now, ardent here doesn't mean you have to be grim, simply that you try to do your best. Once everything passes the checklist, okay, just stick with it. Look after it, and it's going to grow.